All right, welcome back to my father-in-law's garage, if you've been keeping up. I'm uh, completing my uh, trip up in North Carolina with the unboxing and running of the two new vehicles we got for Christmas. If you saw the last video, I got the uh, FMS 124th Max Smasher. Check that video out if you haven't. And now this one that I ran today with the uh, Max Smasher. I'm doing, you can see an unboxing of sorts, but it's already been out of the box. So uh, it's the Rock Hobby that I ordered from FMS website, Rock Hobby 112th Commander Wagon. Let's take a look inside. All right, much like the FMS cases, we got a really nice case with this Rock Hobby. I hope this traffic out here isn't drowning me out too much, but there's a good amount of traffic. So we got this really nice case here that actually has latches on it. Let me open that up. Actually, I just locked it. Unlock it. And here we have the car. I don't have the package of the little accessories that came with it, which is you know, typically just your tire wrench and things like that. Those are at the house. Got some dirt on the wheels because we've run it already. Take a look at the remote real quick. It's a decent little remote. All of these uh, different channels here in the red zone are to change your forward and reverse to forward brake reverse and a few other things on there. So we got some adjustability. We got the channel four, which turns your lights on and off your channel three. It is a two speed. We've got a high and low gear on it. One of the, definitely the more impressive things on this car and what a lot of people have been talking about is the detail on it. It's a super detailed car. I've got my flash on because we're losing daylight out here. If I didn't have it on, I think we'd be a little bit dark. But I don't know. Kind of looks all right. But in the back, we've got a little motor in there. That would be nice to put some detailed paint onto. Um, these are your connections for um, your lights more than likely, I guess, way back here. Try to flash back on here. Some connections back there. I'm assuming they're lights. A nice little engine bay and under your trunk, these little latches actually do latch. You've got your battery set up in here. You've got headlights, you've got this little light here that I've heard referred to as an anti-aircraft light or something of that sort. Maybe they would look at their plans under that light and it can't be seen well. Um, your door actually does unhinge. You can see it's got a little hinge on there. The interior is really nice. Steering wheel turns when the when the wheels turn. It's got a nice it's a spongy soft rubber seats in it definitely can't wait to get a figure in here driving this it's going to look really good um you know obviously from the looks at it of it it's it's definitely more of a trail car or something to drive on the road it's got a little bit of speed to it it's nothing uh nothing special when it comes to speed you'll see in this video i tried to do a little bit of light crawling with it and even with light crawling it didn't do too well um, but it does look good when it's running smooth i'll give you that much rock hobbies did a really good job on this and can't wait to see what else they really put out as far as what their scale looking stuff is i'll show you the headlights real quick and this one unfortunately came with a burnt out headlight which kind of stinks but Oh, well, I'm not going to send it back or anything and go through all that to try to get one with all headlights. But so you use the channel four, like I was saying, and it shows in the instructions. I see I'm not getting any power. Seems like this battery drains quick, like super quick. I didn't, you know, I didn't run this a whole lot, but I guess I was putting a lot of 
uh, you know, I was exerting it a lot trying to do some crawling with it. But anyways, I've got one headlight out on it that you can't tell, but you'll see in the video. So, uh, anyways, let's get to the running video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you guys uh, have enjoyed sharing my trip up here in North Carolina and uh, getting some new terrain footage of stuff I can't shoot in Florida. It's been fun. You guys have a happy new year. We'll see you soon.